right, good morning creepers. Got me a coffee this morning to start and Mickey D's breakfast sandwich for a dollar on the app. I went ahead and used the, the app. And creep, bitty creep, 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 creepers. What's up you crazy creeps? Good morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you are creeping with. I do appreciate it. We are up and at them this morning. Just heading back from Mickey D's. Got me a hot coffee here. And we're just doing a little creeping. It's a little overcast this morning, which actually feels really nice. It's been cooking in this part of the, this neck of the woods here in Portland, Oregon. So it feels good to kind of have it less sunny right now. I'm actually rocking the hoodie but we're just doing a little random creeping today, which I always really enjoy doing. Just kind of continuing the daily vlogs. I lost count at this point, I don't even know. We've been at it for at least a couple hundred vlogs in a row. Like I said, when I was kind of thanking you guys as well for the thousandth, thousandth, <laughs> kind of hard to say, vlog how you know really doing the daily vlogs can be difficult but it's also really fun i do really like to do it i was able to meet up with a good friend of mine marie and pete and so i kind of did a couple vlogs back to back so kind of cheated in a way where both videos were filmed kind of you know on the same day or whatever just because it was so darn hot but i do kind of want to keep the vlogs rolling it's easier to keep going than you know stop and try and keep going again kind of like riding a bike once you get that momentum it's a lot easier to keep it going so today with no really game plan i just thought heck it let's just hang out and see where the day takes us have a little coffee and just do some creeping i really just like to chime in anyways and just always thank you guys so much for always tagging along and seeing you guys in the comment section is really awesome and I couldn't stress the fact that you know none of this would have gone this far if it wasn't for you guys taking the time out of your day to be here so thank you and stay tuned kind of a long-winded intro but we're gonna have some fun so stay tuned doing a little creeping most importantly got the the coffee and it is a little overcast today like I said but it actually feels really good compared to what the Sun's been out really cooking I actually got me an ad shot this morning in the coffee also a little kick in the pants all right just here by the splash pad behind the Mount Hood Theater here they've torn all this out and who knows construction update 2022 but it looks like they got a lot of land to work with somebody told me do you, hey do you know what this is gonna be bud um, I think it'll be housing oh housing right on that'll be nice next to the park yeah. thanks bro yeah, they tore all this out of here. It looks like they're going to be doing some housing. So, the little buildings that were back in here were kind of dilapidated anyway. So, they are working hard. Getting it all worked up. Yep. Pizza Hut is now Domino's. Some remnants left over from the building. Yeah, we were here not too long ago and saw pretty much this whole stretch of buildings have been cleared out. So this whole area is really coming around. I'm guessing this side will probably be next to go. These are pretty dilapidated also so they are really doing a lot of construction yeah, 
this place has seen better days too. This was a trophy place where you could come and have baseball trophies made. This one's all closed down too. Well, I guess this is the same. Same building. This one's all closed down too. So yeah, I'm guessing all this will probably be tore out of here pretty soon. These have uh, just been kind of sitting here dilapidated for a long time. And they've just been kind of really working on this whole, whole area. Who knows, maybe these will get reconstructed. A lot of history here in Portland, or Gresham. So we will see. A lot of construction though. And I take it a lot of folks will probably be down here today. It's the old splash pad. Looking re very refreshing this morning. And these open at 10 a.m. and run till 10 at night. It's a little early right now. Actually, they have them on a little sooner than I expected. We're gonna cruise right through here. Oh yeah. We got this one too. This one's really kicking this morning. Let's see if we can go right through it. Oh, splash pad to ourselves. That feels really good actually. And at night these things kick on and do a really nice little water show. But I'm surprised there's no more people down here actually right now. It's cooking. I take it this will be probably the hot spot today. I'm gonna have to take off a couple layers. We got the flashback door soon! For a minute. And it feels great. These little guys will get you as you're like watching the other fountains. They kind of shoot you in the butt. <laughs> so, you guys see the rainbow? Just in video, still rocking. Can actually come here and buy or rent movies. But right next door here was the Sherwin Williams. I just came by the other day and saw the guys taking the sign down. And it looks like they just moved. Just down the street. 2332 Powell Boulevard. Still got the stickers on the door. But yeah, pretty much gutted. We just bought some paint from here last summer. They were there, they were here for a while. I wouldn't say. I say maybe 20 years. Half mile east on Powell. Yeah, nothing much left. 
So we'll see what goes in here. But what's cool is this uh, video store next to it also, Justin Video. These guys have been here for a long time. And you can actually still rent movies here, which is pretty rare. Whole bunch. One of these days we'll go in here and check it out because it is full of old movie posters also. Pretty cool. You just don't really see video stores anymore. They've even got the, the movie drop box, which are very rare. I guess this one's kind of taped up. They want you to, they want you to bring them back in person. Yep, just a weird, kind of a weird little complex. Alright, just got here to the Oregon Trail Shopping Complex and we're going to go in here to Big Lots because I saw some Halloween stuff and they've got like maybe two aisles of it, but that's about it. We're going to go in here now and check it out. Oh yeah, we are creeping now. Check this out. We got some Halloween goodies already here at Big Lots. Camo Dave, is that you? Halloween style? We got some reefs here with some punkies. And I am excited to see all these different little light ups, which is always fun to come into Big Lots and kind of play around with all the Halloween goodies. They've always had a good selection of different ones that you can, you know, interact with and kind of press the buttons and light things up. So I am pretty stoked on that. And it, with it only being August, we are in business already. Big Lots is usually pretty darn good about getting all their stuff out. Look at this little kitten and this little truck here with the punkies in the back. That is pretty darn cool. Oh, we got another little Camo Dave Halloween guy here holding the black cat. <laughs> oh, look at this. Kind of some Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Beetle. Oh, wait. Don't say that three times. That's right. Enter if you dare. So, yeah, we got all kinds of goodies so far. And I'm noticing these little Camo Dave looking dudes are really coming through all seasons. <laughs> Welcome to our haunted house. So yeah, I always love coming to Big Lots this time of the year, just kind of looking through all their little knickknacks and decorations. They always do such a good job of, you know, changing and getting newer products over the years. Oh, look at this. We got like a little projector with the little kitties and witches and ghosts, a little moon on there too. I bet that looks really cool all lit up at night oh those are neat kind of the black light but flashing style little bulbs or uh you know lights rather you can kind of put them in a bottle i've seen those before look pretty darn cool look at these battery opted little little candles here with the skelly hands holding them and they kind of flash that orange color and we've got these little pumpkies over here too <laughs> like looking at the inflatables look at this ghost here with these green eyes kind of confused as to what the heck's going on <laughs> even the pumpkin is too that he's holding oh nice we got oogie boogie inflatables and uh, oh look at this one it's kind of the the ghost here kind of protruding out of the one of the headstones here that's pretty darn cool kind of 3d looking ghosts there popping out then we've got these oh look at this we've got these towels here but check it out with the skellies and the witch please <laughs> but creep it real whatever you do creep it real <laughs> that's cool though it'd be neat if it changed colors but i do like the neon that is pretty rad actually got some ghosty ones too here check this out they've even got these like almost haunted mansion inspired kind of like the font there pillows with the little bats and moon on there those are pretty darn cool oh i like these little cobweb placemats too then always we got the black lights which i think i might buy a set of these black lights 
for the Creeper Cave this year just to kind of give it that spooky ambiance. But I'm noticing I really like these ones too that I showed you guys earlier that kind of flash as they light up that dark color or, you know, the black light. And then you can also get the little ghosties, pumpkins, or even these little purple, purple kitties. So looking good, Big Lots. Got a couple shelves. I'm wondering if there's anything. Oh, we got a whole nother aisle of spooky goodness, creepy goodness. Check out these little skellies here. Well, actually, they're big skellies. These kind of big light up LED skellies. Those are pretty darn cool. I like that it actually changes colors too. I really like those LEDs at night. Those look pretty darn cool. I've actually seen this kind of style on a mask before. And then we've got these like, you know, kind of more glamorous skulls. <laughs> I don't know what you would call them. And I'm really liking this bluish kind of turquoise looking one. That is pretty dang cool looking. And then of course we've got all the like, you know, witches curse and potions and brews. I wonder what this does. That's pretty dang cool. It's almost like a little crystal ball with the skelly holding it. And it changes colors. Dang, that's neat with the little snake wrapped around it. And then we've got these little curses, spells, and toxic books. So yeah, they are definitely rolling out some newer stuff this year. And I'm liking that. What is this? Pumpkin eggnog? Hand soap? <laughs> I really like the little containers that are in. What the heck is going on down here? Okay, that's pretty dang creepy. We've got this old school camera here. I wonder what this thing does. This looks creepy. It almost just yes come closer come right up this way <laughs> oh that's cool dang that was rad dude awesome now this is cool poison witch's grade used with caution kind of like a cookie jar but definitely for poison <laughs> i am excited man for halloween this season's gonna be so good you guys I don't know if you're like me, but I am ready for some good creepiness. That is so creepy. And his arms kind of bounce. Oh, I think it even lights up. Yeah, I think his face and eyes even light up. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, he crawls. He actually crawls. That's cool. Check this out. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> sounds like me without my coffee. That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. You can also ring that bell down below. That way, when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Till next time, Creeper out for now. Peace.